Hello, my name is Ryan Peterson, and I'm currently at Hoffmaster Park, and we are going to do the week 13 uh, lab, which is the discharge experiment. So the supplies I need for this would be a stopwatch, which I'll be using my phone, um, a calculator to do the stuff later, which I'm not going to worry about until I'm back in uh, my apartment. Um, <laughs> Uh, you need a tennis ball. Um, I stole one from my dog, but I think the orange will help me see it anyways. Um, and then you need a tape measure. And we got a big one here, so we're set. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go down to the stream and mark out a five foot area. Um, put two sticks on each side of the five feet. So we've kind of got... Um, an area where we can stop the ball once it hits there. And then I'm gonna be doing every um, foot across, like width-wise, we're going to drop one um, and then measure that. So let's go down to the stream and get started. So here's my stream that I will be testing. Um, there is a bunch of little dams just from the debris buildup. So I just picked this area, which has some pretty good flow. And there's a dam there and a dam there. But I figure if I test um, this middle area, five feet, and then width-wise, that I'll get a pretty good measurement. And then um, for my second test, I'm going to be trying to block off um, those sections there, change the flow up a bit, and see if that changes my measurements from this area at all. I now have these two sticks marking out five feet across the bank and on the other side of them that stick that's broken uh right here dipping into the water is the cross and then this stick it's kind of hard to see here but it's sticking out long ways right here it's the other five foot marker across from the beginning so now I will begin testing how long it takes the ball to get from here to here, every foot until I get to there, which is this width right here is 12 feet. After doing my first run of testing, I found these measurements. Um, so X1 starts closest to me to X12 is farthest that way. One every foot. So here are those numbers. And now we're going to do the second test where we will dam that up right there and right there with some sticks and debris and do our test again and see how the numbers change. So now I have added um, some more branches and some pieces of bark and a few logs to try to slow down the stream here and it has quite a bit and the water here behind it is going to be a little higher and this hole right here is about three and a half feet deep where this is only i don't know maybe six to four inches across kind of interesting so now that it's dammed up we're going to do our second test here are the results for the second round of testing so looking at the data of my discharge experiment, um, when did I do this experiment? It was Saturday, December 4th, 2021 at 4.45 p.m. Where did I do this testing? It was PJ Hoffmaster State Park, and I believe the creek's name is Black Creek, but I am not 100% sure. The conditions were 40 degrees and overcast with a light wind around three knots. Um, and then here are my results. So on um, this side, we have baseline before I did the dam, and then here's after the dam. And then here is a quick diagram of what I did. So I measured five feet across on each side, put sticks in, and then measured across here, and it was 12 feet on both sides as I picked a pretty straight area, the most cubic area I could. Um, and then I did, um, drops along each X's, X1 starting here, closest to where I was standing, and then X12 on this side, and then the stream was flowing this way. 
So as we can see from these results, the average time that it took to, uh, for the ball to travel through these five feet uh, increased after I dammed it. Um, but as we can see here, there is a large outlier compared to the rest of them where this one took a 10 extra seconds. And that is because it was stuck in a whirlpool for a few seconds um, near the edge that must have been created by one of the sticks next to it. Um, and then I did the calculations of if this outlier was closer to this one. Um, and then, so I just uh, subtracted 10 from it just to see. And I found that it was 9.77, not V, but total um, average time, uh, which would be actually less time than this one, which wouldn't make sense. So, I'm going to say from this data that um, the total f discharge doesn't really change from a dam. As I can see here that yes, it did slow down, but if I take this outlier out, it says that it's actually speeding up. So I'm not too sure um, that the dam really did anything. So. Something I did do is I forgot to measure the depth at each point, um, which I know is a big mistake, but I figured it out when I got home and it's right when I got back, it, it was pitch black out pretty much. So um, there's no time to do it now and I don't have time tomorrow. So I assumed the average depth um, would it be five inches. Um, and then with this, I did my discharge equation where I found that um, the baseline had 7,135.2 cubic inches of water flowing in through it. Um, and then after I did the dam, I found that this number was higher, um, but without the outlier. And if we took 10 away from that outlier, it would actually be less water pushing through there. So that outlier does change our data quite a bit. Um, so I would say, so um, what I learned from my data um, was that my prediction did not really follow it, or at least um, from what I've seen, I would say that my data is a little inconclusive due to my outlier um, and due to the fact that when I change this outlier to a closer number of the baseline, we get a flow that is um, faster than the baseline. So um, in the future, I would probably run this experiment twice and um, get an average from both of those testings. So I can get them a little more conclusive number as I'm not fully satisfied with this data. Um, but other than that, I would say that this experiment's pretty fun. Um, and my data was not really what I expected. I expected to see a bit more of a drop from my prediction, but um, it was still fun to do and cool to see. So thank you all for watching.